Hello everyone, my name is Brian May. I'm the Director of Customer Solutions here at Profound Logic. And welcome to our Getting Started series of videos on ProfoundJS and Profound API. In this video, we're going to take a moment to discuss installing ProfoundJS and Profound API on your system. There are some prerequisites in order to install ProfoundJS or Profound API. If you take a look on the screen right now, you'll see a link that will take you to a page in our documentation that will talk about exactly what needs to be installed. It really doesn't matter if you're on Windows, Linux, um, or Mac, or IBM I. Basically, what you're going to need is you're going to need Node.js installed on your system. Now, the way you go about that can be different depending on what system it is, and it's all laid out in that link that is on the screen. The install for ProfoundJS and Profound API is going to be done from a command line. Now, what command line you use will depend on what type of system you're installing on. On Windows, obviously, we'll just go to the command prompt. For Linux or Mac, you'll go into the terminal. And for IBM I, you're going to go into the PACE environment using QP2Term. So here we are in the command prompt here, because we're going to install on Windows for this video. So if I come here and just hop onto my command line, I'm going to drop down to my C drive, to my root. Um, I'm going to do that just so that it's a little easier for me to hop back into the uh, folder that we're installing in for future videos. Now, I'm just going to create a directory here for us to work out of. So let's do make directory, and we will call it getting started. All right, and then I'm just going to go ahead and change my directory into getting started. And so here we are. Now, provided that Node is properly installed at this point, all I really need to do in order to install ProfoundJS is use NPM. So NPM is the Node Package Manager. And that's how we get all Node packages um, in the Node.js environment. So the process is very simple. All I need to do is once I'm in my directory where I want to set this up, I'll do NPM install ProfoundJS. Now, that's going to run and it's going to pull in all of the required packages, all of the, all of the code, everything that we need in order to install ProfoundJS. Now, this can take a few minutes. Um, during the process, it's going to ask some questions, and the questions will vary based on what type of system you're installing on. In this case, we're installing on Windows, so it's going to actually ask some questions about where to where to actually go and get some files if they already exist on the system, those types of things. What port would we like to, to run on? Now, if we were installing on IBM I, there are additional steps. Um, there are steps having to do with where a profound UI might actually be installed or um, whether or not we want to be able to start and stop the server uh, using the start and end TCP commands. So all of that is documented in our documentation. I'll throw up a link on the screen right now so that you can jump directly into that if you need to actually have a look and see how to start and stop or, or, or answer the questions for the IBM I install. Now, you'll see I've come to my first question at this point, and it's asked, all right, well, where are the profound UI static files? So since I'm installing this locally, I'm not connected to an IBM I yet. I'm just going to press enter and tell it uh, HT docs. And what that will actually do is actually go out and download a copy and pull those in and, and install them directly here on my machine. Now, if you are connecting to an IBM I that already has Profound UI installed onto it, you can actually point it to that system and have it pull from there. Again, all of that is in the documentation. What port number do we want to run on? The default, as you can see here, is 8081. I'm just going to leave that alone. All right, it's saying, okay, well, the directory for Profound UI is not found. Do you want to make a copy? Yes. And that will start the download process. Um, depending on your connection speed, this can take a little bit of time. I'm actually running on a very fast fiber connection here. So as you can see, it downloaded the, the data fairly quickly. And once the download is, is done, it's going to start the install process. You'll see a lot of things flow through the screen as the process continues. 
And there we are, we're done. Um, again, depending on the speed of your system, this may take seconds or a few minutes, just depends. Now if you take a look, you'll see here that it says everything installed properly. Um, you might notice that actually it says here it found four low severity vulnerabilities. Now when you're dealing in node packages and NPM, this is very common. Uh, basically what's come, what this is, is some of the packages that Profound.js uses are actually using other packages that may have some some vulnerabilities in them. Uh, low severity vulnerabilities are very common. Um, they're not they're not high risk, so normally those can be uh, ignored. Now, all right. So with that, Prof Profound JS and therefore Profound API are installed. So now that it's installed, all we need to do is start it up. Now, if I were on IBM I it would already be started up because it actually creates its own subsystem and starts up automatically or I could use the start TCP server command to to get it fired up if I needed to but since we're here on Windows I'm just gonna start it manually so all I need to do at this point is do node start um, I can do that and as you'll see if everything has installed properly there we have Profound.js server running version 5.1.1. It's running at all zeros, of course, which is localhost, port 8081, and it tells me that my Node.js version is 14.15.5. So everything seems to have installed properly. Let's check. So if I come over to my web browser, here we are. All I need to do is do localhost 8081. And the first place you should probably go is to the key page. So we'll do key. And if this were a brand new install on a system without a key, um, of course the key and the licensing information here would be blank. Obviously, I use this system every day, so it's been licensed a few times. Now, if I, this were a brand new machine, all I would need to do is click the button here to request a trial key. A simple form would pop up asking me, okay, well, give me your name, what company you work for, an email address, um, just some basic information. And then it would actually reach out to our systems and get a license key for you, and you'd get a 30-day trial key automatically, and it would be applied here. Now, if you've already had a trial key, and maybe you're extending your trial, or you've purchased Profound API or Profound JS, and you need to apply a permanent key, again, you'd come here to the key page and all you need to do is either paste the contents of the key file into this text box or you can upload the entire key file uh, just using the upload button here. So now that that's done we have our license key in place the last thing is just to make sure everything's working so I'll just go into localhost port 8081 slash IDE that should take you into the development environment and as you can see everything's here and running. Thank you for watching today's video and enjoy yourselves with Profound.js and Profound API.